Hey folks, welcome back. In this video, we're going to look at capacitive reactants for capacitors and AC circuits. So let's get into it. We're going to start looking at what is meant by reactance, first of all, by comparing it with resistance. So we say that reactance is similar to resistance, but the two are not the same thing. They both try to oppose the flow of current, but in different ways. Resistance is where a device will oppose current flowing through it because of a physical property of the device. For example, the conductivity of the metal used. Whereas reactance, on the other hand, is where a device will oppose current flowing through it because of a phenomena produced when the device is working. For example, the buildup of electrons on one plate of a capacitor causes the current to fall eventually to zero because of electrostatic repulsion. So reactance is different to resistance, but both of them do oppose the flow of current. We now have a definition of capacitive reactance, which is given the symbol capital X lowercase c. And we say that capacitive reactance is the opposition of a capacitor to changing current, i.e. an AC current. It can be calculated by considering the voltage and current in a circuit. So just like rearranging Ohm's law V equals IR for resistance, where we get R equals V over I, we've got an equation now for capacitive reactance, which is XC equals V over I. So it's almost like we're replacing the resistance symbol in the Ohm's law equation with the capacitive reactance symbol XC. So we have XC equals V over I, where XC is capacitive reactance measured in ohms. Again, it's got the same units as resistance. V is voltage measured in volts, and I is the current measured in amperes. It then says that capacitors oppose low frequency currents and allow through high frequency currents. And we can see this by manipulating some of the expressions that we've already seen. So we can firstly say that XC, the capacitive reactance, is inversely proportional to the current I, or directly proportional to 1 over I. And we can see this from this expression here. So if we ignore the voltage V, we get XC is proportional to 1 over I. And since we saw in the theory video for capacitors and AC circuits that current I is proportional to the frequency F, then we can arrive at the result that capacitive reactance varies inversely with frequency, i.e. XC is proportional to 1 over F. And we can see this because we know that XC is related to current in this way, and current is related to frequency, so we can replace the current in here with the frequency F, and say that XC is proportional to 1 over F. So this means that for high frequency currents, we have a bigger number on the denominator, which means our capacitive reactance is smaller, which means that a larger current will flow. Whereas if we have a low frequency current, then this number on the denominator is smaller, and that means our capacitive reactance is larger, which means that capacitors will oppose these low frequency currents. There is also a relationship for capacitive reactance in terms of the frequency F. So it says that capacitive reactance can be calculated from the frequency of the supply and the capacitance of the circuit, where we have Xc is equal to 1 over 2 pi Fc, where Xc is the capacitive reactance measured in ohms, F is the frequency of the AC supply measured in hertz, and C is the capacitance measured in farads. So just to summarise, we have two relationships for capacitive reactance, one in terms of voltage and current, and one in terms of the frequency and capacitance. That's all for this video, folks. I hope you found it useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.